If you've read the title, you know that this video is called 10 gift ideas. It's not. 10 gift ideas for pole vaulters. Welcome to the Pull Up Vlog. My name is Sean Francis, and here we talk every and here we talk everything pole vault. Today we're going to talk about pole vault gifts. I promise commercials are going to be fast today. Mm. This video is brought to you by the Pole Vault Toolbox, this book I wrote, and now until Christmas Eve, every time you purchase this book on team-shoot.com, throw a video of your choice into the cart along with it, and use the code PV toolbox and you get that video for free. All right, let's get into it. Just a heads up, all of the links to everything I'm gonna say here is in the description below. Let's go. 10 gift ideas for pole vaulters or pole vault enthusiasts or just people who like flinging people with a stick. Number 10, the Evo Shield wrist guard. You know that vaulter bump you get upside down when you and the pole start to fight a little bit while you're trying to get upside down? Well, this helps you avoid the pain and that pole vaulter bump a lot of people get right here on their wrist. My favorite part about these besides just like a normal sweatband is they come with this guy, which custom molds to your wrist. So it fits snug, it seems to last longer, it doesn't get as gross. I get an extra large or a large just for size reference. Number nine biographical pole vault books. This book is awesome. It is called Running Into a Headwind. Rick Scher is one of the greatest pole vault coaches of all time. And he wrote a book about his journey in coaching as a wrestling coach into a pole vault coach into the, an Olympic gold medalist pole vault coach and a world record pole vault coach. So I'm about halfway through and there are just amazing little coaching lessons and, and tips and tricks just scattered throughout this entire book that I'm actually writing down myself to use uh, with some of my athletes. So, awesome. Tim Max biography. He is a 2004 Olympic champion and at the time it was the Olympic pole vault record. So in college, one of my good friends, Nolan Berg, read it and shortly after Tim Mack became his favorite pole vaulter of all time. That just shows how awesome the book is. This is Joe Dial's book. He's a former world record holder, first high school pole vaulter to clear 18 feet, First college pole vaulter to clear 19 feet. And talk about entertaining. One of my favorite stories Joe Dial has is actually in this book where he talks about how he was at the Vatican and he high-fived the Pope. <laughs> Who gets to say they did that? Joe Dial. Number four biography books, my friend John Clark wrote a book called Finally Fit last year and it was about how he became a pole vaulter at the age of 60. Never pole vaulted in his life, started pole vaulting at 60 and it helped change his life. So it just goes to show that you can start pole vaulting anytime. Number eight, a high bar or rings. Can we really say we're training for the pole vault if we're not training on a high bar or rings? Plus, you can do it at home, which is even better because right now um, there's a lot of home time. Number seven, speed is the most important part of the pole vault and spikes make you fast. Quick tip on spikes, I made a video about this in the past, but avoid sprint spikes, avoid distance spikes, avoid cross country spikes, get a jumper spike. Pole vault spikes will be the best. Uh, I personally like uh, long jump and triple jump spikes too, so make sure they're a jump spike because pole vaulting is a jumping event. Number six, the angle. The angle bar. I made a whole video on this and I explained how awesome it is, so of course it was gonna make the list. Learn how to invert at home. Simple as that. Ow. Number five, essential things for your pole vault bag. That's why I don't sing everybody. Chalk, chalk is important because your grip is important. Plus, if you're the one at a meet with chalk, you'll be everyone's friend. Another thing to go in your pole vault bag is tape. You can never have enough tape. Tape helps with the grip again. It hard, helps mark like where you start on the runway. I mean, pole vaulters will always find a practical use for tape. That's just what we do. Plus, Again, it'll help you be everybody's friend. The third thing to have in your pole vault bag is a tape, is a tape measure. Not one of the tape measures where it pulls out and then you can push a button and it flings back. One of the ones where you're like fishing. If you have a tape measure in your bag, 
You won't be everybody's friend, but you'll be everybody's hero. Fourth thing you should have in your pull vault bag. I mean, if you have chalk, you might as well have a chalk bag. This one's pretty great because it doesn't seem to leak a lot of chalk when I squeeze it. It stays pretty tight, so my bag that's holding my chalk bag doesn't get all full of chalk. Unless I want a big bag full of chalk. And the fifth essential thing you should have in your pull vault bag is a notebook. You can do some testing with your tape measure. You can mark your grip. You can mark all of your settings, your grip, your pull, your run. You can mark how you're feeling that day and you can just progress. Cause if you can see that you're progressing, your mind will be much better because pole vault is 80% mental and the rest is in your head, unfortunately. And people seem to forget this, but my buddy Hunter Arnold told me this, but if you have a physical copy, you can bring that to the meet. Not everyone allows you to have your Selma phone down while you're competing, which can be a problem. I feel like this video is getting a little long. Let's speed it up. Number four. My buddy Tim Warner created a slick little device called the Swing Up Rack that could be awesome for a coach or pole vaulters if you have a high bar, which was listed in the earlier sections. Three, pole vault club membership. Step one is to find a local club near you on the best and slickest pole vault club map in the entire world from uspva.org. We as pole vaulters need places to pole vault and pole vault clubs need pole vaulters. So it's a it's a win-win. It works out great. Number two, pole vault educational books. What people keep telling me are there are three great books uh, to, to that, that will make you a good pole vaulter. And collecting them all is like collecting the Harry Potter series and just saying you're a Harry potter or. Every time I say that, I think of a guy potting that is super hairy. Pole Vault Toolbox. What I keep hearing, the feedback I keep hearing, it is a great first book introduction into the sport. It breaks down the base. <sighs> I'm not good at promoting my own stuff. Let's just say I try to write it simply enough so that anyone could pick up this book and go, hey, I think I got Pole Vault figured out. That's how I wrote it. The second book is by my buddy Dave Butler. It's called The Pole Vault, A Violent Ballet, and it came out just this last year. He adds the history of the pole vault and adds some more advanced tools that the pole vault toolbox might not have had. And then three is this book called Beginner to Boobka. It's thick, it has tons of charts, it can be a little bit confusing at times, but it won't be nearly as confusing if you started with mine and then Dave's and then went to this one. This one, you might go, oh. Never thought of it like that before. Sweet. But it's another great book to add to your collection and it's been in mine for years. If you have all three, you'll have a pretty stellar foundation of the pole vault concepts. And number one, everything on team-hoot.com. I literally just keep making things that I wish I had when I was trying to figure the sport out. So I wouldn't have spent 20 years trying to figure it out. Maybe I could have, maybe I could have figured it out Maybe I could have learned some of this stuff earlier and faster and progressed more. That's why we have the pole vault toolbox. We have a pole vault course, pole vault training plans, online reviews. These shirts are brand new. I think the check your butt plug one is pretty funny. Just, just one more vault. Pole vault community is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, then we got the Team Hoot Zen ones. That's it, that, that's that's my list. So like I said, links to everything is in the description below. Did I miss anything? What do you think I should add? What does your top 10 list look like? Let me know in the comments. Remember, there's more than one way to pole vault, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Plus they make killer tap shoes or help with Morse code clicks. I don't know what I just asked.